I can see the cub behind us. Oh no. They've stopped there, the rest of the troop. Can you see the male still? Is he still running? Now everyone, I know this is going to be a little difficult because what I don't want to do is create a situation where the leopard can't hear what's going on, so I'm turning the engine off and I'm just going to drive down here. Can you see anything? There, I can see the male, the baboon's coming. You got the baboon there? Heard the baboons in there. Oh, hang on, there's a fight going on in front of us. You got them? They've got the leopard. VMP, I'm going to go forward because the baboon's down here and I thought I heard it. I hope it hasn't caught something. Can you see the baboon? In the big marilla tree. Oh yes. There's the big baboon. That was, that was the female, wasn't it? PMP, I think we saw Karula there. And sneak forward there. I'm not going to go off road now. Oh dear, the leopard's up there. The leopard is up there. The baboon is trying to grab the leopard. I don't know which leopard that is, everyone. I'm shaking. Oh no, I think that's one of the cubs. Now everybody, if you are a sensitive viewer, well, we're all going to be sensitive about this. That. I think the female was below us. Here comes the rest of the troop now and the leopard has taken the last resort option to try and get into the tree. I don't think that's the female, I think it is one of the cubs. Dungan. Okay, Aubrey's going to go in there, we're going to follow him. You got the leopard. There's a little cub running. Where did it go, Viam? I can't see. Okay, we're gonna go. It went left, hey? You can see the mother. I'm just gonna try and get into a bit of a clearing here, everybody, so we can see what's happening. I'm gonna go around the corner here. We've got to be very careful about where we drive here. We don't want to make a noise. We don't want to crash around. We've got to be very sensitive. This is horrible. This is really horrible. There's the baboons running to the right. This is perfectly normal everyone, it happens all the time. I'm going to move very slowly, I know it's frustrating that we can't see what's going on. Now, I will explain to those of you who are new viewers, perhaps, and you don't understand the relationship between these primates and the carnivores, I'll explain what's going on, but basically a very big male baboon is, is too much of a challenge. Yeah, there's the 
youngster right up in the tree here. I don't know where the others have gone, but I think it's the big male who's in the, this tree with the little one. Okay, there we go. You can see it up there. There you can see the little leopard. I'm not going to get any closer than this. Oh, shame. All right, everybody. Let's just take stock here. You, Vim, you saw the female coming down here. You, we saw the other cub also coming into this area. Can't see them right now. I think you'll find, and I can't see the baboon. Is the big male still in that tree? I think he got out of the tree. So he's out of the tree. That's good. But he did try and grab her there. There we go. Here comes another baboon to the right hand side. Now big male baboon, the same weight just about as a female, not quite as a female leopard, but he's got massive canines, he's hugely powerful, he could seriously damage her. He would kill one of these cubs um, if he could get it and he tried to grab that cub and I don't know if he got hold of it, there was certainly a scuffle. And Aubrey has just seen the mother still running down, I think, to the south of us here. Now, you see, what do you do when you're trying to get away from a baboon? A baboon climbs as well as a leopard does. And the only advantage that leopard has right now is that of height. And it's easier to swat something coming up from the bottom than it is to grab something from the bottom. Now, the baboons are calling. The male is around here somewhere, but he's not gone after her again, so I think she's going to be okay. I cannot see what's going on here. I mean, that's tremendously exciting, but it's horribly stressful. I don't want to move just now. I just want to try and assess what's going on from here, everyone. Now, the little leopard at the top is looking a little bit more confident. You can see the ears are not so flattened against her head. Yes, sorry, and I think you are right, viewers. You're saying this is Hassan. I think you're absolutely right. I'm just saying her. It's definitely the paler-eyed one, so it's, I'm sure it's the male. I think mum and female have headed off to behind where we are now. And I don't think we should move from here. I think we should stay exactly where we are and wait and see what transpires. Phew, that was horrid. I'm 99% sure that the other two got away. Mum definitely got away. I'm pretty sure that female would have got away too because if they'd got hold of one, there would have been an almighty scuffle. And I think actually, look, I don't know if he was hit or oh, look at him. From such a peaceful, wonderful morning, things have turned horrid. I think that male almost caught him and if if he may have actually made contact because there was a as VM saw the Karula coming down this way I heard a scuffle on the ground growling and definitely a baboon making it they don't growl but they make a kind of throaty almost roar and I heard both of those things and I'm sure the leopard was growling and I'm pretty sure there was contact made 
But a leopard is so fast. A baboon's very fast too, but a leopard's quicker. And he would have shot up that tree. Whew. Interestingly, I would also be fascinated to know what's going on at the kill site because I wonder if they won't go and scavenge that kill. They do eat meat, baboons. They're completely omnivorous. Now the inevitable question also is why would a baboon do this? And it's the same reason that if there's a, a criminal in a neighborhood everybody in that neighborhood will try and get rid of that criminal and that's not to say that the leopards are criminals but from a baboon's point of view they are they're predators you don't want them around you you want to give them a fright you want to teach them a lesson and that's what these baboons are doing and they'll get their blood up they'll feel tremendously confident even the little ones Now, Sarah in Georgia, you say, is this something that happens every day and we just don't see it? No, it's not, Sarah. It's not uncommon, but it's not an everyday occurrence. Sarah, I think it probably happens, yeah, more than we think it does, but it's not an everyday occurrence. And this area that we're in now seems to be a very popular baboon spot. And it's quite close to Torchwood Camp, where there's water and the baboons like to come down to that water for some reason. Whew. And it just goes to show the baboons not, you know, they're not intent on doing harm, they're intent on getting rid of predators around where they are. So they've chased these cubs, they've chased all, they've chased all three, and they've now kind of relaxed. Whew. I don't feel very elated by that. I feel um, I feel very sort of distressed by it. Not quite scarred, but um, yeah, just stressed out by it. It's not nice to see, is it? I'm sure many of you are having exactly the same emotion. We see some tremendously exciting things out here, after which we go, yes, you know, it was kind of amazing and exciting and everybody feels happy. This is something quite different. I'd quite like to know from you guys how you are feeling, so maybe tweet us through one word. Tell us how this made you feel. Other than stressful, I'm sure it made you feel all stressful. There, I've got the female. I've just seen the female moving there. Well, no, it's not, it's a hyena. There's a hyena there. Uh, you won't be able to see it. Uh, VMP, let me move, because we know where the leopard is. Aaron, you say this was scary. Yes, it was. It is scary. It remains scary. Guna misi la. Misi. Misi. I'm just telling Aubrey where the hyena is. Can you see it? Oh, the leopard. There's Karul, everybody. So that's not the hyena. We've got the leopard. Maki, you call. Maki, yeah, now Maki. They're calling. Calling the little one. The little one is not reacting yet. The hyena was a long way to the right of where she is now. I suspect she's left the female further back from where she is now, going up onto the termite mine. I'm going to move. 
just so that we can get into position 